Are you serious? 12 miles of dead squid on 12, 12, 12? You got 12 miles of dead squid? 1,200 dead squid? What? This is what's going on. And let me give you a report on this right now. I'm telling you, this is shocking information. But then again, is it? It's the Hosea prophecy that was guaranteed, prophesied in the Bible 3,000 years ago. I want to play this. I mean, listen to this. I've got a uh, CNN. I've got a, a two-minute segment from CNN from some scientists trying to understand, trying to explain why the squid have washed up on the shore and died. Scientists are investigating why at least several hundred, and it's 1,200, dead squid suddenly washed ashore along the Santa Cruz County coast Sunday afternoon. Witnesses said that the squid stranded themselves during high tide. Carcasses were found along a 12-mile stretch are you serious? 12, 12, 12, 12 miles, 1,200 dead squid. Uh, I, I'm just, let me just play this for you, okay? And let's see if we can understand. Again, always realize that every time there's, there's these fish kills, 2 million dead fish, Chesapeake Bay, 7 million fish, Redondo Beach, California, 10,400 dead deer, Michigan, uh, 40... Tons of dead herring in Norway, 128 dead bison in Canada, 5,000 dead blackbirds falling out of the sky in BB, Arkansas. No matter what goes on, scientists try to come up with an answer. They even said the reason that 2,000 fish died in a lake in Germany was because too many people were urinating in the lake. Are you serious? They said that could have been. It's always could have been, might be, it could be. Let's listen to what this report is, as CNN's reporting, as these scientists try to explain to CNN what it is that happened. And uh, here we go. The beaches of Santa Cruz County are littered with the carcasses of thousands of Humboldt squid. They've stranded themselves from Aptos to Watsonville, a span of 12 miles. You just see them essentially killing themselves, and it's just really weird to see it. It happened yesterday during high tide. Some people actually tried to put them back in the water, but researcher Hannah Rosen says the deep water creatures swam right back to shore. They don't see the shore very often, so it might just be that they don't understand what's going on around them it's and so they're just beautiful. trying to get away and don't realize that if they swim towards the shore, they're going to run out of water eventually. Did they're she juveniles, say that? both male and female, about a foot and a half long, Stop. weighing roughly three pounds. They had full stomachs, having feasted on smaller market squid. A few had also cannibalized each other, which is normal. To be honest, researchers have no idea why this is okay. happening. But be honest! It's because the squid have eaten toxic algae. What? It's possible that the squid are ingesting either these neurotoxins or they're getting it through their food, and that could be causing them to be disoriented and swim onto the beach. Humbo squid haven't been in the Monterey Bay for a few years. Scientists believe El Nino weather patterns may have drawn them to the cooler waters of Northern California. This is the third stranding in six weeks. It's really an exploratory time for us, so we're learning more about what causes these strandings and whether or not we should be worried about them or if it's just a natural part of the squid cycle. And Aptos, Kipto, CBS 5. Natural, did you say a natural, a natural time of the squid cycle? Did they say a natural time of the squid cycle? The, the squid cycle? What? She said maybe because, see these are deep, deep, deep water squid. Maybe they came up there and they saw the shore, they were eating, and they saw the shore, and they said, it's so beautiful, and they started swimming to shore. Or maybe they ate some toxic algae. But you just said they were full eating on other squid. Or maybe it's El Nino. No, it's Hosea prophecy. Now, it's in the Bible, okay, in Hosea chapter 4, Verses 1, 2, and 3, it'll tell you the cause of all these dead birds, dead fish, and dead cows. Matter of fact, I wrote a book about it, 
Uh, it's a powerful revelation. You guys know, I did a video on it when this, this all first started happening. And uh, Time Magazine wrote an article about me. CNN interviewed me. I was uh, all over the world, different networks and papers said there's this preacher in Indiana that says this could be the sign of the apocalypse. Well, it is a sign of man's sin. And God's calling us to repent because the end of time is nearing. Remember, when Hosea prophesied this in chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3, it was a little over 3,000 years ago, and we haven't ever seen these events until recently. And I mean, it happens every day now. Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, dead bison, dead buffalo, dead elephants, whales, pelicans, fish, 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 birds, birds, birds. I mean, it just keeps happening. Here's what the, the Bible said. I'll read from my book. I'll read the first three verses from the Bible. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3, the scripture says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying, killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. God prophesied in the word, in the book of Hosea, through the prophet Hosea, that this events, these events that you're witnessing now, are happening because of the sin that's going on in the world. This is just some of the signs. Of course, there's wars and rumors of wars and kingdom rising against kingdom and nations against the nations and famines and pestilence and earthquakes, divers places and all of these are just the beginning of sorrow. You see, what we're witnessing is an end-time apocalyptic scenario. And all of these animal kills is, is simply the, re, the result of man's sin. Simply the failure on our part to conform, to conform to the Word of God. And God didn't make His Word to make it difficult for us, but He, he did it to show us a way to heaven. Now the Fish kills, the bird kills, and the major animal kills are not going to stop, okay? 40,000 devil crabs in Kent, England. 126 dead bison in Canada. 7,000 dead buffalo in Vietnam. 165 dead elephants in Zimbabwe. 99 dead whales in New Zealand. 7 million dead fish in Redondo Beach, California. 38 million fish in China. 10,420 dead deer in Michigan. 28,000 dead fish in uh, Bear Creek, Ohio. It's just going to keep happening. Then you've got the water turning blood red in Texas and on the banks of the river in Memphis, Tennessee. And the river, the Beirut River running blood red for three days and nights in Beirut, Lebanon. It rained blood red rain in China, I mean India. The Yangtze River turned blood red in China. The Sea of Azov turned blood red on the coast of Russia and the Ukraine. The birds keep dying. The fish keep dying. Thousands fall out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas. Thousands in East Texas. And on B.B. Arkansas, it was on New Year's Eve, 12 minutes to midnight. Well, this is 12 miles of 1,200 dead squid on 12, 12, 12. The Mayan calendar has nothing on the actual word of God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are coming to the end.